What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at sharing and grouping which are our early stages of division. So let's begin. Okay, in order to look at these two concepts today, we're going to be looking at these three questions. You can see we have a green chili challenge, an orange and a spicy red chili challenge to finish with, so stick around for that. Okay, let's have a look at our first question straight away then. We have six divided by two. So what does division mean? What does divide mean? This little funny symbol basically means to share. So we're going to be sharing our six between two. So imagine that we have two friends. I'm going to draw them. Here we go. This is Johnny and Mike. Okay, so I've got my two friends that I'm sharing between, but now I'm going to share my six. So I have two choices. I can either share or I can group. And in this example, I'm going to share. And so now I'm going to imagine I've got six cookies that I'm going to share out. So all I'm going to do is just share them evenly between my two friends. So here we go. One cookie to Johnny, two, three, four, five, and six. And now all I've got to work out is how many does each of my friends have. So Johnny, he has one, two, three cookies. And let's just make sure that we've got an even amount on both. Let's just check Mike's. He's got one, two, three. So we know we've got the same, so we've done it evenly. So my answer is so six divided by two equals three. So that was sharing, where I share them out one by one between my friends. But also I could group. So I could draw my six cookies, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I could then group them into sets of two. So here we go. This is a two, this is a two, and this is a two. And then all I now need to answer is, how many groups do I have? Well, I have one, two, three groups. So my answer to six divided by two is three. Exactly the same answer, just a different method. Let's have a look at it with this one, 18 divided by three. But for this one, I'm gonna introduce you to sharing circles because it's an easier way to share out rather than thinking about giving them to friends. So I'm gonna create some circles. So I'm gonna have one, two, three circles. Okay, now I can put my cookies inside. How many? 18. So I'm just gonna count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now remember, there's a very important word. We need to make sure that we're dividing or sharing evenly. So I'm gonna count and make sure I've got exactly the same amount in each of my sharing circles. In this one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. In the second one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, the same, that's good. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six in my last sharing circle. So what do I now need to do? I need to count how many is in one, and we can see that we have six. So 18 divided by three equals six. Okay, that's with our sharing method. Now let's have a little look at our grouping method. See if we get the same answer. So when we're grouping, I'm just gonna draw my cookies. There we go, I've got 18 of them. And now all I'm gonna do is simply group them into sets of, that's right, three. So here we go, this is a set of three, this is a group of three, this is a group of three, and now on my other row, this is a group of three, another group, and my last group of three. Now I'm just gonna count how many groups I've got, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, 18 divided by three is six. Same answer, just a different method. Okay, lastly, I wanna show you something that can happen a bit interesting with division. Here we go, I've got 13 divided by four. So I'm gonna share them first of all, and I'm gonna have my four sharing circles. One, two, three, four. And now what I'm gonna do is share my 13 cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I've given twelve out, but I can see that if I give one more to any of these circles, it's gonna have an uneven amount because 
at the minute I've got three, 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 and three. So if I give it to any of these circles, they're gonna have four. And is that fair? No, I wouldn't like it if I got three cookies, but my friend got four. So what can we do? Well, well, we have a fancy word when we come to division, and it's called a remainder. So what I can do is I can put my 13th cookie, my spare one, outside my sharing circles. So now my answer is gonna be 13 divided by four is, well, let's check how many we've got in one sharing circle, and that's three. So it's gonna be three, but I've got one remaining, or one remainder, so I can put R, the remainder, one. Three, remainder, one. And that's a really high level skill to understand in division. So if you understood that, great. Let's have a look at it with grouping, same question. So again, I'm just gonna draw my 13 cookies and I can already see that I've got one remaining somewhere, but let's have a little look. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group them into groups of four this time. So here's one group of four. Here's another group of four. Here's a group of four in a different shape. And then I've got this one left over that I can't put into a group. So how many groups do I have? I have one, two, three, but with one remaining. So my answer, again, is three, remainder one. Okay, hopefully you understood that. That was a really tricky little skill for division. So if you did, super job. Let's have a little look at things to remember. So division is just the same as saying sharing or grouping. I think sharing is a little bit easier. Grouping might be our second level. We can use sharing circles to help us when we're dividing. We can just share them into our circles or we can use grouping blocks to help us when we do our grouping method. Okay, I've got three questions for you to try and have a go at here. I've got a green, an orange and a spicy red chili. Have a go at answering them and put your answers in the comment section. Remember, if there's a remainder, you don't need to spell that nasty word, just put a little R to show me that there's a remainder. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna see you in another video, but for now, peace out.